Hi, this is the second part on consuming a REST API in Flutter course. In this video, we're going to extract this list of nodes that we have over here into a service and we're going to create a method in the service that's going to be called get note list and that's kind of going to be our quote-unquote API call. And later on, when we have the API, we're going to replace the hard-coded data with API calls and then we'll get the data that way. But now I just want to show you how to create a service and also how to utilize a service using a service locator library. The first thing we should do is create a services directory over here. So I'm going to call it services and over here we're going to create a nodes service. Alright, now this is going to be just a plain class. Okay, and as I said over here we're going to put in a method that's going to be called get notes list. This get notes list is going to return a list of notes, actually note, for listing. Okay, and now let me go to the note list and just copy this into here. And instead of initializing this to a variable, I'm just going to return this. Now, as I pointed out just a minute ago, when we actually have some data in the API, this is not going to be like this hard-coded, but this is going to be an actual HTTP request. So this is how I like to approach my apps. I like to put all the logic for actually fetching data from some kind of a data source, being it an API or a database or whatever, into a separate service class so that our view does not know anything about the data source. It just knows that it's some kind of a data source that it exists, but it doesn't know if we're getting that through HTTP or are we getting that from the local file storage or the database or whatever. So like this method just returns for now hard-coded data, but when I call it over here, the view is not going to know about the data being hard-coded or anything, so that's kind of like how I like to do stuff. Okay, so now we need a way to consume the service we just created, our node service. What we could do is just go over here and create a service that's going to be called node service and create it with a constructor. This could work, but if we have to use the service in like multiple pages, for every page we will need to create a new service like this manually and that's not something that's recommended. We're actually just going to use a service locator package. Alright, so here are we on the web page for the getted Flutter package. Actually, it's not just the Flutter package, I think it's also a standard Dart package, but it doesn't matter. So as it says over here, this is a simple service locator for Dart and Flutter projects. And over here we have some stuff like IOC containers for dependency injection and whatever stuff, but we're just going to use the standard stuff. So let me go down here and we can do a couple of stuff over here. We can register a singleton, a lazy singleton. We can register, let me just go down, we can register a factory object, but I don't know where documentation for that is, but really doesn't matter. So let's go to the installing tab copy the dependency and the version and now when I go back to the app I'm going to go into the pospec.yaml file under dependencies I'm going to paste this now when I save this flutter packages get gets ran and exit code 0 means that our package was retrieved successfully so now in order to use this library we should initialize the service locator itself inside a main method before we run the app so let me remove this and make this a standard function body and now I'm going to create a method called void setup locator right and now the way we set up a locator is by using a static instance that's provided by the get it package so we have get it dot instance and this is just a standard instance of get it it's the static instance that's available everywhere in the app so as you can see it's just a simple instance so if it's null then we just create a new instance of get it and if it's not null then we just return it so now we can do a couple of things we can register a factory object register factory pretty much means every time a certain service or whatever object we registered is called we're going to get a new instance created then the next thing we have is register singleton this means that the instance of the class that we want will be created only once and 
it's going to be created at the moment that this is registered and whenever we call that object it's going to be just that one instance of an object no new instances are created and then we have register lazy singleton it's pretty similar to the register singleton method it's just that it does not create the instance like right then and there but it actually creates the instance only on the first call of that object i hope that this all will make sense later on so I'm going to use register lazy singleton and now here we need to provide a function for creating the object we need. So I think we do not take any parameters into the function and we can just return notes service. Now I'm going to import the service and yeah we registered our lazy singleton and now the way we can consume the singleton we can just say get it dot instance and over here we need to provide the type parameter for the type of our service and just like this and it's going to return an instance of node service so now we can use this in our node list and also one thing i forgot to mention is that we do not have to write this instance but we can just write i because that is just like a shortcut for instance as you can see over here it just points back to the instance so like whichever one you want i'm just going to use the dot i one so let's go to our note list and now let's use the note service so over here i'm going to create a property that's going to be just a getter to that note service all right and now we can consume the service fully now let's go down here and fix all the errors we have so as we said we have our service and now we can call all the methods inside it and now for now like the only method we have is get notes list. Let me just turn this into a stateful widget. And also over here we have a property that's going to be called list of note. Actually note for listing and just call it notes. And at the start it's going to be an empty list. And down here I'm going to override the init state method. This is the method that gets called when we're opening our stateful page. And now we can say service actually notes is equal to service dot get notes list and now all the errors are fixed because we just used the notes over here notes at index dot note id and like down here like notes at index last added date time and that type of stuff so now let me save this and restart the application and now when we go to the emulator i think this should behave pretty much the same oh actually over here it says the object node service is not registered inside get it and that's because we did not restart the app let's see if restarting will fix it okay so i think i know where i messed up let's go to main.dart and yes i created this setup locator method but I did not call it so it did not register our service over here so let me put this over here and this should now work once I restart the application and yes it works like pretty much the same it did before but now we have the service and the service locator for this very simple app where, where we're working just with nodes this really does not matter all that much, but when you have notes and users and, I don't know, events and blog posts and whatever, this can like be pretty nice to kind of separate concerns. And also, here I used register lazy singleton because we really don't need more than one instance of the notes service because it should be that one instance because it's really not doing that much. Alright, then that's pretty much it for setting up the service locator and services. In the next video we're going to finally hook the app up to the API and I'm going to show you how to get a list of notes from the API itself. So yeah, that's pretty much it.